Hi y'all, my name is Tina. Welcome back to Reaction Row. Today I am watching episode five of Interview with the Vampire. Um, I'm I'm gonna get into it because I want to see what's going on going on with Claudia and what's going to happen to her um, and what the next stage of their life is for Lestat, Lestat and uh, Louie. So I want to thank y'all for all of your support on YouTube and on Patreon. I appreciate it so much. I do have full and edited reactions on Patreon for those of you who'd like to subscribe. Uh, the links are in the description box. He's not, Boy, he's not even bothered. Dog, let my dog live. Please, no, please stop, stop. Oh, here's a good one. Man in the last row of the Son of Sheik picture show. You said you had cigarettes. <laughs> it's a kill list. Yes. And a teenager's handwriting. The final words of her victims. The 42 pages, if I remember correctly. Session five, Louis de pont de -Lac. For Claudia, all humans died with Charlie. Mm. As for scale, I was skeptical too. Thought she was on a hunger strike. Next to the She's not surviving on birds or nocturnal sleep. She waits for that slither of time when I'm on the hunt and you're going around the back to make nice with the rat catcher. Oh, she's slowly starving herself. Boom. I know what I'd do, but you've cut my hands off. My parenting is sadistic. Mm. <laughs> so save your words when it comes to Claudia. She's in there because of you. Voila. Comme je dis. She's dining out. As I said, she was. And Louis had no clue. Uh, don't do that. It's private. Uh, they're different parenting skills. Dear diary. <laughs> Whole lot of concern has been wasted on you these past months. You remember? All of it. Whole families. Half the parade crew, the incinerator will be overflowed. The smoke alone would blot out the moon. What did you do with him, Claudia? Did you read my other ones? No. I did. Inked with ungratefulness. Where are the bodies? Well, then I guess you gotta hope and pray you taught me how to clean up good. Where are they? You gonna let them do this to me? I read some passages out loud, I'm afraid. Hurtful words for both your guardians. I didn't mean harm. And the bodies are just protected. Stop lying, Claudia! I ran them, okay? Way to town! Nothing up there for miles. No one's ever gonna find them except maybe criminals burying bodies of their own. Never gonna forget what happened here. I hate you both. We're out of town. Shalmay, now get out of my room! Shalmay's three feet below the river line. No, I'll get out of my room! What happens when the next storm comes out the gulf? All those bodies. Yes, I am asking for your and Mr. Leon Corps' support in my campaign for the Louisiana House of Representatives. A grubby business politics. Oh, it's devoid of dignity. But there's one of those temperance fart knockers running again. And we'll look at us. A city of a thousand saloons shamed into the shadows. That's Chief of Police Bardeen. Maybe I should buy him around. Ask him why there's double the cops walking the quarter lately. A recent unpleasantness in the night ward. The floaters. I read about that in the papers. Six bodies, man. Six? I pity them. Flee the corpses like it was judgment come. Oh, they still digging. Drown? Must have drowned in the hurricane. First words out of my mouth when I got the call. But I tell you both something. Because we're old friends. <laughs> Every single one of those corpses has some soft part of them locked off. Finger here, a foot there, a toe. Wow, yeah, one poor woman was missing her left. 
What is she doing no. with body parts? Only the left. Don't be shy. Go on ahead. Take the whole set. <laughs> Sounds like there's a maniac on the loose. Most of the poor fools they hooked out of the bayou were former inhabitants of the quarter. So don't be too startled if the police come knocking on your door. It's just a routine look see. Okay, so what is she doing with those body parts? Why would she want a toe? She's torturing them. Sir, he's so disarming. But like... X marks the spot. What is that for? Okay, so that's how they're getting away with it. Good evening, sirs. My name is Deputy Havisham. Uh, am I speaking with the owners of this townhouse? You are. And can you explain your presence in it? Well, we've had a few citizens go missing from Rue Royale. They just walk in? Two doors over. Oh, dear. We're going door to door looking for malefactors uh, lurking about. Your daughter let us in. I was Ow. in the middle of cleaning when they knock on you. Oh, I have a few deputies searching the premises. Uh, makes for a more efficient intrusion. Why don't you finish your chores upstairs, young lady? <laughs> you often leave your daughter alone with access to illegal spirits? About this, sir. What is it? It's an incinerator. What is it? Incinerate yard clippings? Waste. Refuse. For garbage collection. So she does garbage keep trophies. Oh my goodness. We bring our clients here to demonstrate the product. <laughs> no, 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 no. She really has gone mad. <laughs> this one's locked, sir. This one's daughter's room. What are you waiting for? I'll knock it down. I'd add a second bed to the boudoir before you two go making accusations. I have no doubt you could carry the fines, but crimes against nature, that comes with a five-year prison term if convicted. We'll be watching you, Mr. Dulac. Mr. Lee and Corey. They're going to have to rein her in. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Souvenirs. Overnight in a jail cell with no coffee. We did not bring souvenirs into the house. I'll be dead by morning. Because so that's what you want. So wine in his blood. You wanted her. You fixed her. And beer and whiskey. Doing this together. Do you remember our life? How happy we were before her? Happy? We were not happy. An anvil tied around our ankles, pulling us towards the pitch black ocean floor. Who am I supposed to love? She didn't. She's not supposed to hear all that, poor girl. You two have each other. Who's my Lassa? Who's my Louis? Not human. What human would want me? Perverts? Like the uncle at the Roman house who used to watch me pee? Hmm. Or little boys. In 40 years from now, so little boys? How are you gonna fix it, huh? You're not my type, I like a full of food. Stop! She's being impossible. <laughs> oh my god. Why can't I make one? No matter how much blood I give them, they just lie there gasping. What is this? Look at me, what have you done? No. no. Did you try to make enough? Boy from Hatatula, boy from Holly Grove, boy with the bow tie out in Algiers. Claudia, how did you figure this was going to go? Make me one. Because you two love so well. Because if you don't, I'm going to go out there and find other vampires. If you could find them, which you won't, they would shred you to strips. Because you are built like a bird. Because you are a mistake. <laughs> how about you shut the fuck up? He treats us like shit and you take it. Why is that? And you cruel as the devil ever made to refuse me one love when you've got two. 
What do you mean you got two? Baka Banaji sings tort songs with a flat no nothing. The same lady? Been following you, Uncle X. You ain't been your careful self. He's gotten tired of us, Dad. The housewife. And a mistake. The same like singer? I've been entertaining myself. Amusing me. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, it's funny. I can't remember. What words were there? It's really sad. It all happened so fast. I was trying to save you. All vampires are born out of trauma. We made her out of remorse. Out of selfishness. He wanted something for himself. He wanted a daughter. Poor dear. She wasn't held enough in between ritualistic murders. She spent every night for half a decade with no friends, locked in the emotional storm of puberty. Look, Charlie Manson wrote a couple of beautiful songs. Still, he was Charlie Manson. Is that all you think of her? Mostly. I also think she makes you and Frenchie look like a couple of whiny existential queens. Probably why she's a fucking gold mine. The girl who moves a million books. Context. Sure. Warn the world about a forthcoming apocalypse, or maybe inspire a line of sexy Claudia Halloween costumes, or a cool dismemberment trend amongst the suburban Soviet class upset? set. Once you put it out there, they decide what it is. They can get away from you. Keep reading. Keep talking. They start a new turn of a trail into an opportunity. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. I've been Paris. saying they need to leave. No. <clears throat> we should dismantle her room. You don't touch her room. She'll be back. No, she won't. There will be no roaring twenties for us. We will be underground for seven years. Mm. And so I was left to revisit old haunts. I wonder what Desperate she's doing or what she's up to. Claudia, come home. I know I hurt you. I know I can make it right again. Little girl. Little girl, I'm talking to you. Oh, she went to school. I don't talk to strangers. Now, what were you doing in the library? You're not allowed in there. My mama works here. She cleans classrooms. I read while she's cleaning. You can read. <laughs> oh, just as I thought. A little thief. You're coming with me. What are you going to do after that? What? After you turn her in. After it makes you feel like a big man. What's the next movie thing? You are not allowed to ride one of those things on campus. You can't read. I can't ride. It's kind of with all the rules. This is our school. Where is your fighting pride? You hungry? Oh, he has the eyes. As the depression set in on the nation, I have barricaded myself within the dilapidating walls of 1132 Rue Royale, educating myself from the Stotts Library, ignoring all other duties of the role Claudia Becoming a hoarder. The unhappy housewife. Flaubert's style is so dense. Who else turns in time tonight? Bring it to Pelican. Should we make it a night of the two Louis? The absence of metaphor is so striking. <laughs> you sound like every pompous suburban student I've ever written. Should I do like you instead? Read the first 10 pages of every book, pass myself off as culture. Well, at least you're you listening. You can sit there thinking like your cell phone fire. See if you would notice. Hapless human, I'm going to kill in a few hours anyway. They're so tired of each other. 
You drum me into your balloon. It's your fault she's gone. If you hadn't pushed her. Claudia. If you hadn't done yet. Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> I cannot listen to this insanity about Claudia one more time. Bordel de merde. Et il me chie de la main jusqu'au carnet. I took an unsavory delight in provoking Lestat. But it was a cheap satisfaction as the tourist carriages rode by, whispering tales of the weird brothers who encamped inside. What was he like, your maker? Strange. European. We didn't get on much. We were now running from the same thing, but... Is that who's calling out your name every night? Is that Louie? You heard his voice? I thought it was the only one stateside. Then I heard him calling out. Claudia, I'm sorry. Claudia, come back. It ain't like that. He's more like a dad. I thought, oh, now there's three of us. Got me wondering what it'd be like. Ride with others. I don't trust him. Mm, a little gang of vamps. A little fang gang. <laughs> you got a name? Parents named me Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. You don't kill like a Bruce. What do I kill like? You kill like a... Like a killer. Manners. How to be a nice young lady. Oh, oh. was just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, etiquette. He was a bit sloppy out in Jefferson City. How long you been You shouldn't from? dump bodies in Missouri, even if you weigh them down with rocks. Rivers too fast. I find you build a shallow grave, sometimes a prairie wind will catch. Burns faster. How long you been? About five, six colleges or so. How'd you do it? I had good ears when I was alive. Got great ears now. Heard your name in the air. Something about the way it sounded. Claudia. You're getting a little close there, Bruce. You are being rude. Why? Why'd you do that for? Because you were going to run away. I knew you'd regret it. I knew we couldn't trust him. Courtesy demands that you when you are a guest, shall show neither annoyance nor disappointment, no matter what happens. Poor girl. There are four pages torn out. I'll repeat myself. I will not exploit her. Could she tear them out? Doesn't seem like something she would do. It's clear what happened. And she wrote about it, and I'd like to read it. No. When you do that, Louis, when you editorialize, however noble the reasoning, it calls into question the other shit you're shoveling my way. Or, or, or maybe you can recite it from memory, as you've demonstrated before. Uh, let's see. Bruce walked back from the fire and leaned down over me and torn out pages. Ooh, shoot. Don't mess with him. Don't ask again. He forgot what he was dealing with. Mr. Duluc occasionally finds it difficult to talk about Claudia. Got that. <laughs> Mr. Duluc would like to apologize. It won't happen again. He won't push again. Okay, Malloy. Stood up for himself. But I am the one who is presently standing in front of you. And unlike Claudia, I am a full-blooded adult. With all the right... Appendages. So if my considerable considerables continue to be squandered. Two months and seven deaths. Close proximity. 
He's obsessed with finding her. I mean, it's his daughter. But Lestat needs attention too. Well, she's to stay the way you used to write. I'll sit here forever. Looking down both ends of Royale Street. Waiting for your return. For your forgiveness. Never found some work near Boston. I feel blessed for the work. You look good. Don't need that either, Louis. Whoever you are that took my Louis. It's me, Grace. I sat across the dinner table from him my whole life. The pews in St. Augustine's on Sunday. Hit my fourth grade report card on purpose. Because his was so bad and mean when our parents if I know. <laughs> You're not my Louis. I pray myself old, thinking what to do about you. God never talked back, so this is how it has to be for me, for my family. You understand? <laughs> She's gonna grieve him, and I wonder if he's ever grieved his own death. Maybe this will be his chance. I spend time following Louis and Lestat now that I am my own woman. With no obvious sense of why I follow them, other than meaning slowly disintegrates without them. My companions in immortality. But today at the cemetery, I finally understood something so obvious, which I pondered for a decade. Why they made me. To be Louis' sister. Oh, he's not going to be happy. The prodigal daughter. <laughs> of course. I've come to apologize. I put you both in a bad spot. I wasn't right in my head. I am now. Apology not accepted. <laughs> I plan to leave for that part of the world as soon as I can. Quick stop home to do laundry before you fuck off for good. A quick stop to pick up Louise. <sighs> Perused a few folklore anthologies, and now you're going to cross the ocean and take on a society of monsters. What I've read is lies, then tell me what's true. Seven years and what's changed other than you need a housekeeper? The vampires out there are vicious. Oh. Well, you've learned that already. Who did you meet out there in the American hinterland? We turned away. That's it. Keep him scared. That's his way. The vampires in Europe are much, much worse. But I think he's scared. I never asked. How did Charlie taste? Like the love you'll never really know? When he's scared, he ridicules. She was a destitute little girl. Destined to live an inconsequential little life. And we took it from her. We cursed her. Come with me. Come with me, Louis. Lou. I thought I could live without you, but I was wrong. Louis! 
Oh, what's he gonna do? Hey! His love is a small box he keeps you in. Don't stay in it. A thousand nights of sulking and the first sight of her? You're just gonna open me? Please come with me. Let's be vampires worthy of your love. even know what to say like I did not expect that I mean I kind of I didn't expect that he would take it out on Louie like I expected that kind of violence towards others I am so wow <laughs> I can't I don't even know what to say like the acting is so good in this I'm shocked I that was, a, that was a lot. That was a lot in just a few, like it felt like so quick. Like I don't even know if it was almost an hour long. Like it was the fastest episode ever. But um, because it was so intense, I guess we'll see what happens next. I really don't have words. I mean, I know that he's a vampire and I know that he was vicious and Louis still decided to become a vampire with him in episode one after seeing what he did in the church. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't expect a soft vampire, you know what I mean? But I just never thought he would turn on Louis. Like, I understand he thought he was leaving him for Claudia to go with her, but the way he attacked Louis... I don't know how I can like list stop from now on, but we'll see um, what happens next. 
I don't really have much to say. <laughs> I'm so in shock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end there, and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.